All right, well, let's take a look back now at Ntlantla Nene's career in the finance ministry. Here's ENC's Nikolaus Bauer. Ntlantla Nene's tenure in the Treasury portfolio started as head of Parliament's Portfolio Committee on Finance in 2002. By 2008, he was Deputy Finance Minister under then President Khalema Motlante. Nene served in that role for nearly six years after President Jacob Zuma reappointed him. Then, after the 2014 general elections, he became South Africa's first black finance minister. Better value for money in public service delivery depends on rigorous financial management, effective systems and an unrelenting fight against corruption. Nene was lauded for his fiscal prudence and terming the line with South Africa's finances. But this didn't make him popular. And before long, a bogus report called Project Spiderweb emerged, suggesting Nene was part of an apartheid conspiracy to keep South Africa's finances in white capital's hands. I actually thought it was just a bad joke, but uh, you never know. And that's why it's, it's good to know, to get to the bottom of it, to know where it's coming from. Nene's resistance to the Russian nuclear deal. We act on behalf of cabinet and our task is to make sure that uh, uh, whatever it is uh, that uh, uh, cabinet or government and the country enters into is uh, uh, financially uh, affordable. And his butting heads with then SAA chairwoman Dudu Miyani over the state airline's finances preceded his downfall. I've decided to remove Mr. Ntlansa Nene as Minister of Finance. And a brief replacement following financial turmoil. Open up and ensure that National Treasury becomes an accessible department to all our people. Nene tiptoed off to the private sector and stayed there until the so-called New Dawn. Mr. Ntlantla Nene will also once sworn in as Minister intent to have him appointed as Minister of Finance. Returning to a post he initially did not want. I tried uh, resisting, but I, I, I could not, um, you know, really fight because of the national duty calls. The law enforcement agencies are actually beginning to actually really find their, their muscle in order to be able to do what they're supposed to do, which in the past we haven't seen. Those people, that we, we're getting people charged these days. We're getting investigations that are rolling out that we never thought that, we, that, that would be rolled out. And uh, there are no holy cows when it comes to that. And then this happened. I did meet the Gupta family, particularly Mr. Ajay Gupta. Um, at a number of, um, in a number of occasions, government events. There were regular attendees at government events at that time. Uh, but... Um, not to discuss government business, because that's generally what, come, what normally comes up. This was in contrast to what the minister had told ENCA in 2016. Look, I bumped into them in uh, public gatherings um, once or twice, but um, I've never had a, um, an, uh, an engagement, and I've never been asked by them to do anything for them. Q, more turmoil in the upper echelons of government, before a blast from the past. I have decided to appoint Mr. Tito Mboweni as the Minister of Finance with immediate effect. Tito Mboweni returns after almost a decade since he left the public sector. He was tight-lipped about his resurrection. Minister, you're attending cabinet tomorrow. Will you bring in a new team? Bye. As Labour Minister from 1994 to 1998, he was the architect of South Africa's post-apartheid Labour legislation and was hailed as a firm but fair governor of the Reserve Bank during his stint from 1999 to 2009. I've enjoyed excellent working relationships with the uh, presidency and also the National Treasury and the Minister of Finance, uh, both the current one and the previous one. Um, and I'm really grateful for this opportunity to have served. What will he bring to the Treasury in the midst of a recession and only months away from the next general election? Thank you. Nicholas Bauer, Johannesburg.